Now, I want to point out as a disclaimer before I get into this interesting little article that uh, I don't know how much I buy into this. And this, this is my problem, okay? And all of y'all can go look this up. Uh, I'll try to get a link up at some point, but I don't know if I'm going to rush to it. But if y'all go watch the videos uh, about the spaceship that's supposed to take people to Mars, all right, you can watch, and this is from NASA, okay, at their website. They're talking about how they're going to have us send uh, a ship out there unmanned because they don't know if they can make it through the Van Allen belt at all or even do it and have people survive. All right, and this is, what, 40, 50 years since they supposedly went to the moon, right? So, with that said, I'm a little skeptical about some things, but I still find this interesting. And basically, this article just talks about uh, there's, a lost, there's a lost tape that reveals some unexplained music that people heard when they went to the moon. Now, I have a lot of information to get to, um, um, and I, I don't want to spend uh, too much time on this. Uh, it's definitely interesting, so what I'm going to do, guys, is uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and play a clip from this top video, and then I'm going to leave a link so you guys can go over here and check this out. But once again, I actually had just a lot of stuff that I wanted to get, get to tonight, and I just haven't been able to get to anything. So let's go ahead and just uh, check this out real quick. Apollo 10 enters lunar orbit. As they pass around the far side of the moon, the astronauts lose all contact with Earth. It's about an hour on the backside of the moon, away from Earth, where you lose radio contact. During this hour, the astronauts are on their own. No one on Earth can see or hear them. When they emerge, they seem to have survived their voyage around the far side unscathed. Houston, you can tell the world that we have arrived. As far as anyone on Earth knows, this mission is going like clockwork. Everything according to plan. There's nothing irregular going on at all. But nearly four decades later, lost recordings emerge, revealing an unsettling incident on the far side of the moon. There are recorders that record whatever's going on on the backside, and then you do a data dump when you come around the front side. And Houston or Mission Control then can see what happened when you're around the backside. After the NASA astronauts return to Earth, uh, Roger, Houston, we are returning to the Earth. NASA transcribes the tapes, then buries them in the archives without comment. These conversations are recorded in the transcripts, but those transcripts were classified. NASA would withhold information from the public if they thought it was in the public's best interest. Even after declassification, the transcripts lay undiscovered in the NASA archives until 2008. Finding record of this conversation is like finding a needle in a haystack. It takes years to come to light. The tapes contain recordings of strange otherworldly music coming through the Apollo module's radio. The conversations that follow the sounds makes it clear they are unlike anything the astronauts have ever heard. I didn't need to keep it sound out of space, did it? Do you hear that? That whistling sound? In their headsets. It sounded like a woo-woo kind of a noise. Sounds like, uh, you know, outer space-time music. If I were to hear something back there, the first thing probably would freak me out. Boy, that sure is weird music. Over the course of an hour, they mention it multiple times. This is not just some anomaly. This is something that they're all really hearing, and it's really weird. So anyways, guys, so yeah, uh, there's a pretty interesting little tidbit about the, uh, the quote-unquote moon landing, if it actually happened. <coughs> I'm still, I'm still on the fence about that one. 
but uh, yeah, definitely a pretty compelling story. So uh, that's it for now. I've definitely got some more stories coming. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon.